Former President of Burundi, Domitian Ndaize, says he is challenging a decision by the Electoral Commission to ban him from running in May's presidential election. He has denied the Electoral Commission's claim that he did not receive the required number of nominations. A former president's complaint that he's been unfairly prevented from standing in the election is not the only sign that May's vote is likely to be controversial. This week, a UN Commission of Inquiry warned about the deteriorating human rights situation in Burundi. It said a youth league linked to the governing party continued to kill, torture and harass the opposition. The government has dismissed similar allegations before, but whoever wins the election may not find that they are entirely in charge, even though the current president, Pierre Kurunziza, is stepping down. He may retain considerable power because, under a new controversial law, he is due to be given the title of supreme leader. Chairperson of Burundi's National Independent Electoral Commission says the body has rejected four candidates. Out of the 10 who filed for the May 20 presidential election for failing to meet requirements of the national constitution. For more on this story, we joined on the line by Burundi journalist Apo Niroro. He is in Bujumbura. Apo, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the Globe. Yeah, good evening to you. Well, first of all, give us more detail, if you can, as to why the Electoral Commission has denied uh, Mr. The, 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 the former president uh, you know, uh, to run for presidency. Well, in a press briefing held by the chairman of the Electoral Commission, he said the four uh, candidacies were rejected, and the one, what these, these include uh, the one by Domitian Daizei, the former president of Burundi, who ruled the country between 2003 and 2005. Well, during the press conference, uh, there were no details about the reasons of rejecting the candidacy of Domicenda Izei, but they are saying that uh, the issue is uh, with nominations. But uh, the coalition he's representing called the Kira, Kira Burundi uh, is saying that it's unfair uh, to reject the, the, the candidacy of uh, former President Domicenda Izeye. And that is why they uh, appealed to the Constitutional Court. Well, he, he is actually denying that claim with regards to not having securing enough nominations. What's the story about nominations? Well, the story about nominations, it's, uh, it's getting support uh, from, the, from the supporters. Uh, that, that, that's what it means. But the, the coalition called the Kira Burundi, uh, of which Domicenda Ize is a member, says this is very unfair. Well, Mr. Ndaizeya was president of Burundi between 2003 and 2005 after serving uh, former president Pierre Boyoya as vice president for 18 months. And he's also credited for bridging the gap between the Hutus and the Tutsis of Burundi uh, in a process that was, uh, you know, that was, you know, taken care of by other presidents in the region, uh, the current uh, Ugandan president and the former president of Tanzania, Benjamin Mkapa. But then do you get the sense that uh, Burundians are appreciating of this fact uh, enough to give him a second chance of, of, of the presidency? Yeah, uh, Mr. Domicenda is a, the former president of Burundi, is a, is a respectable person. He's a, he's a respectable person and a senior official uh, whom uh, several Burundi uh, people have confidence. They, they really trust him. So he could be a, a big challenger, a big challenger in these elections uh, if he gets a chance, of course, uh, to, to be accepted as a candidate, to be approved as a candidate. So will the fact that he was also, you know, implicated in a coup attempt, will that not perhaps uh, jeopardize his chances of, uh, you know, getting a second shot in the presidency? No. Being, uh, at, being uh, involved in a coup attempt, uh, it was, I think, in 2000, uh, and, uh, 2000. I don't remember very well the date, but that was a fabrication because he was also in prison. He was jailed along with the vice president, Alphonse Marika Dege. Uh, it was really a, fabric a fabrication. Uh, so if, if there is fair justice, 
if there is a fair judiciary, a judiciary system which is fair, uh, this could not really uh, involve him in, in, a, in, a, in a coup. What do we know about uh, former President Ndaize? What is it that he stands for? Well, former President Domitian Daize is known as, uh, as a respectable official, a man who, who sticks on, on his word, a man who is known as somebody who is a recon somebody who reconciles people. So Domitian Daize is really known as a, a respectable person, somebody who is uh, kind, so, someone who really uh, can be a good leader. And we do understand that, uh, you know, there was fear and uh, violence and, uh, you know, against the backdrop of the ongoing intimidation with regards to changing the constitution. Uh, do you want to give us more detail with regards to that? Yeah, Domitian Isaiah was among the, those people, those politicians who were against the third term of uh, the current president, Pierre Nkurunziza. So he was there, and uh, uh, he, he, all, he fled for some time, but he came back to Burundi because he knew uh, he, he, would, he, he would not have problems. So Domisenda is a, is a man who, who, want, who sticks to his words and who, who, who fights for democracy. So does the constitution allow uh, the extension of the presidential term from five to seven years as per the proposed amendments? The current constitution says that the president uh, now uh, will be, uh, who will be uh, elected on May the 20th, will run, we rule Burundi for seven years. And this is one term, but uh, it also allows him to run for a second term of seven years, of course. All right, Apo, thank you so much for your time. That was Burundi journalist Apo Nirora joining us on the line from the capital in Bujumbura.